and Bixie, the show where we tie dye different types of fabric to see which ones get the brightest colors. Okay. Have all of your supplies ready before you start tie dyeing. The fabrics we will be tie dyeing today are 100% silk, 100% cotton, 100% polyester, and 100% nylon. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to twist the polyester. We already did three of them, and this is the last one we have to do. Okay, so after you twist it, we're going to have to tie it, and we already tied one just to keep it steady, and then to tie the other two. Alright, so we're here now with our tied um, fabric, this is the silk, um, the cotton, the polyester, and the nylon, and now we're going to dye them. Alright, so we're going to make our soda ash solution that we need to soak our uh, fabric in. Um, soda so ash is sodium carbonate. So, yeah. yes. So this is the soda ash um, solution, and we're mixing it with a gallon of water, which is in this cup. So we need one cup of this. So I'm going to measure that out. I'm going to pour that in here. Like that. We're going to mix that up. So I'm spoon do that over here. And, yeah, and then we're going to soak our solution in this. All right, so now we're going to mix, or we're going to soak all of our fabrics, our tied fabrics, in this solution. So we have to make sure we sink. I don't really know what to do. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to make sure they all get fully immersed in this solution. I don't know why it's saying that, because it's nylon. And it flips. So that's the polyester down there. This is the polyester. This is the cotton, the nylon, and the silk. And all of them are going to sit in here for 15 minutes. And after that 15 minutes is up, or I mean while we're soaking this for 15 minutes, we are going to do our dyes. We're going to make our dyes. And make sure you always wear rubber gloves when you prepare dyes or do anything with tie dyeing because it could be harmful to yourself. Okay, so for our dyeing, we put half of the orange powder, the yellow, the blue, and the purple. And then we're also going to add two cups of hot water and a tablespoon of urea, which is helping to make the colors like a deeper urea It's gonna help to make the colors a deeper um, color. Okay, so now we're just adding the two cups of hot water into each of the eyes of the purple, of the blue. She's adding the yellow right now. And then this is the orange. So we are stirring the urea, the hot two cups of water, and the dye. And mix. the dye. It's two tablespoons of urea, and it dissolves right away. As soon as it got in there, it started to dissolve. Okay, so I'm taking them out of the soda ash now. They soaked for 15 minutes, actually a little bit over. But I'm taking them out, and I'm squeezing them out until I get most of the soda ash out of it. And then after that, we're going to start putting the dyes onto them. All right, so you want to make sure you have your gloves on. We have our dyes ready. Um, this was soaked in the soda ash for about 15 minutes, and we're going to start tie-dyeing. That's, that's an eye right? This is, yeah, this is the nylon. Um, so first we're going to start with the red. We That's orange. Or, I'm sorry, orange. Sorry, that's red. Um, so make sure you don't go down the way. You kind of want to make sure it soaks, or try to get it to soak in to the fabric. Since this is um, nylon, it's going to be hard to get it to um, soak in. And then we're going to flip it and do the other side. All right, so now that we've dyed both sides, we're going to put it in the plastic bag. And you guys kind of tie it tight, wrap it around a few times, and um, set it out to dry in the sun. Okay, so this is the polyester, and it ended up turning out pretty good. Um, so I did both sides, and it's dripping all over the place. But so we're done with this one. We're going to throw this one in this bag. Like Finally done with that, and now they're out to dry. So now we're going to talk about the chemistry behind tie-dyeing. Um, the reason that the dye is staying in, in the tie-dye is because of a uh, covalent bond, which is when the electrons are shared between the atoms. So we took the, the tie-dye out for the last um, hour of drying, and some of them are looking pretty good. And as you can see, there is no um, covalent bond with the silk that we have here compared to the cotton that we have right here. The reaction happens depending on the temperature and pH level in the surrounding area. 
Okay, so the reason that we soaked the fabrics in the soda ash was because um, it raised the pH level to approximately 10.5, which um, allowed it to become a base. And then the dyes that we used were um, acids, so the acid reaction with the base is what caused the tie-dye to um, happen. Okay, so the dyes are allowed to react for over 24 hours, and we let ours um, react in the bags for about 5 hours and that's over more than the minimum. And then excess dyes that you see here are going to be removed by we're going to wash it with warm water. And then we're also going to wash it with synthopol, which is just a, a dye detergent. The reason that the dyes didn't soak into the nylon and the silk very well is we found out that they are a lot less porous than cotton and that's why it's harder for the fabric to absorb all of the dyes that we are sewing into. This is the nylon and this is what it looks like before we rinse it, so now we're going to see how it looks once we rinse it. So this is the nylon after we wash it and it looks pretty good. Didn't It actually held a lot more than I expected it to. This is the um, cotton. rinsed cotton. We still haven't washed like detergent. Yeah, we still need to put detergent on this and um, put it in the dryer. Alright, so this is what happened to the silk. Pretty much all of it just, just went away. Like a pastel. We haven't remember. put detergent on this one either, so maybe more of it will go away. But I don't know if you can see this. I don't even there's know if you can see color. it. It's just like a light orange, a little bit of purple down here. Polyester. Um, it's kind of like a pastelly. Okay, so this is the cotton that we did, and we're gonna dunk it in this detergent, and it's the last thing we're gonna do. So it's like a little bit of detergent with some cold water. All right, so we put the fabrics in the dryer, and we're going to. Um, Set it on a high heat and um, leave them in there for a while until they dry so that the dye will set. Alright, so this is the finished product. This is the cotton, this is the nylon, the silk, and the polyester.